Welcome back to another Real Spill. I'm your host, Top Doc. Thank you for joining in. Now, those who ain't tuned in, y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that like button, slide down, drop your name in the comments below, let me know who you are, Just give you a shout out. All right, today's Real Spill is on the realness of depression. Now, there's a lot of people out here that's going through it. There's a lot of people that deal with depression, but you will never know because they put a mask on and hide it. The society is kind of harsh when it comes to people with mental health. They deal with them with a long handle spoon. So, ways to tell if somebody is depressed. One, if you go into an event, they go with you. You having the time of your life, but every single instant that you look over, that person looks like they having the most terrible time possible. That could be a sign of depression. Two, Whenever something joyous is mentioned, that person throws in something negative, you know, to saturate. That's another sign. Third sign is just the physical stature of a person. You can tell if a person is kind of depressed by the body language. It's the uh, sulking shoulders. It's the, the low head. It's the basically closed but off-centered eyes. You, you're looking, but you're looking this way. You're looking forward, but you're looking to the right or you're looking to the left. That's a person, you know, they don't want to make eye contact, meaning that they're embarrassed about something which is swirling them in a state of depression. Now, shout out to my homegirl, Emily Simmons. She let, she wanted me to let people know that not only is depression a mental thing, but it also can be a physical thing because it can physically affect you. Now, when you're depressed, you don't want to do certain things like get up and be productive. You don't want um, to talk to anyone because you don't, but you basically are in this, this dark world and you don't want to basically bring more people into that dark world or feeling like you're spreading that dark world out. Um, another way that you can tell if somebody is depressed is, is that not only their body, mental and physical, but you can tell by speech, the speech pattern though. If a person who has a lot of life in their voice all of a sudden just goes from having life to basically sound like they're on the edge of it, that can be another way of telling if a person is depressed. Now, you don't have to, um, cater, not, not cater, I'm not gonna say cater, you don't have to pick at somebody with depression as if they're like, some type of anomaly. No, a good way to deal with a person with depression is to try to draw them out of that world and give them a little light. Everybody out here ain't as strong as you or maybe the next person. So what we need to do is help people with depression come out of depression by letting them know that that world that you're in is not meant for you. This bright sunny world with a whole bunch of opportunities, that's meant for you. That dark world where it's just you and those personal demons beating on you, you don't need to be in that world. You need to come up on out of there or we need to help you come up on out of that world and bring you into this world so you can help other people such as yourself in the same way. Now, I mean, when I was a little bit younger, I dealt with a few bouts of depression. That's because, you know, being from the hood and all that, it, just me as a kid, I was thinking too much. But what helped me is I have a big family and my auntie, rest her soul, she let me know, listen, you in this world for a reason. Find that reason, go with that reason, and if you could find other people that have the same reasoning, you get with them and then you that's you. Let everybody else do what they was meant for. Like, I wish I could play basketball. I not a good basketball player, so I don't play basketball. I happen to be able to cook really well. So, I'm a chef. That's, that's why I had to find my lane. So, I found chefs like me, who basically are in the same world as me, to keep myself out of those that, that dark world that I used to put myself in as a child. Now, 
for everybody else. If you have somebody that you know is going through depression, just basically feed them little tidbits of light until you see that mood change. And then when you, you get them up out of their world, make sure you close that door, lock it, and destroy the key so that door to depression can never be opened again. If people that don't know how to deal with people that are depressed, go ask somebody that got a little bit more knowledge. So in the end, you're gonna be looking like a villain for trying to help somebody, but not in the right way. So if you know somebody or you see somebody that's going through it, y'all go ahead and put your hand on their shoulder. Let them know it's gonna be all right. The world may seem like it's coming down on you, but it's people here to help you lift that heavy rock burden off your shoulder so you don't have to be in that dark world so anybody that got loved ones anybody that got friends anybody that got people that they just naturally care about that's going through it y'all help them out by giving them a few words of knowledge and encouragement and maybe just maybe we can start cracking this little depression thing a little bit more and get more light into this world instead of the constant darkness that we got and that's all I got for now. So, I'd like to thank y'all for joining me, man. For Real Spill. Y'all get with me later. I'll get with y'all later, man. Dude.